Hello, Dr. Neil here again. I wanted to describe trickless rides, what they are and why we should even care about them. I found that folks often get confused about this term triglyceride and don't fully understand what their effects are on our overall health and wellness. So we know diet and health are very closely linked. What we put inside of our bodies very much matters. It definitely has an impact on our overall health and wellness. Our diet is very closely tied with our triglycerides as well. So basically, whatever we eat ends up inside our bodies and flowing through our veins and our arteries. So what I'm going to do is deal with this close-up segment of the inside of an artery because that's where triglycerides really can do damage. If you break down the term triglyceride, you'll see it actually means something that's quite intuitive. What's great about health terms is that if you break them down, they often make a lot of sense. So starting with the prefix tri, that simply means three. The term glyce, G-L-Y-C, or gluce, G-L-U-C, or gluc, simply means sugar. And the suffix I-D-E or I-D is simply referring to a compound. So the term triglyceride is basically referring to a three sugar compound. Well, let's see how this plays out. Let's imagine you ate a donut. What happens is, through chewing and through the digestion process, your body's gonna break that donut down into something that you can use, a form of energy. And that form of energy is gluce or glyce. So imagine again, this is the inside of an artery. You go through digestion, you eat that donut, and your body is gonna break that donut down into sugar molecules or glucose or glyce molecules, which is what you're seeing pictured here. Now, these molecules, if they don't get used for energy, meaning you're not very active, these molecules will start to combine and collect. They like to form molecules or compounds of three, like you see here. So this is actually a triglyceride, a three sugar compound. So what, why do we care so much about this? What we're learning is when these three glucose molecules come together, it tends to do damage to the lining or to the walls of your arteries. The walls of the arteries start to thicken. We don't want that to happen. When your artery walls start to thicken, that's when we see heart attack and stroke come into play. So the risk for heart attack and stroke, for example, tend to go up when you have too many of these three sugar compounds or triglycerides floating around in your arteries, your bloodstream. So which foods are more likely to cause these three sugar compounds to form? Basically, it's your refined foods, your refined carbohydrates, like the donut example I gave, or white breads, white rice, white pastas. Those foods get converted to sugar really quickly, which makes it more likely that your body's going to not use it for energy and instead will form those three sugar compounds, triglycerides, which will start to thicken and harden your artery walls. So how do you know whether your triglyceride levels are normal or high? Well, like I said, it's a simple blood test. Your doctor can measure this. You simply look at the number and if it's less than 150 milligrams per deciliter, that's what the MG slash DL stand for you're good, you're normal. If your value comes in between 150 and 199, then you're borderline high. Your triglycerides are high if they come in between the levels of 200 and 499, and they're very high if they're 500 or above. So let's say you've got your lab results back and your triglycerides were borderline high, high, or even very high. Luckily, there is still time to adjust this there's still time to lower them without medication. You have to hang on because I will discuss that in my next blog. So please visit www.superherolike.com to find out how you can lower your triglycerides or maintain lower triglycerides.